Tucked in the trees near the base of Mount Scott in southeast Portland sits a detention center for migrant children in federal custody. A former worker says the old Rosemont School is being used as a shelter for nearly 20 migrant children, mostly teenagers from Central America. The children are treated well, said the former worker. The school has recreation, including a soccer field and basketball court. But metal bars on several exterior windows serve as a reminder those kids can't leave. They're in federal custody for crossing the border illegally. Public records show the Portland-based nonprofit Morrison Child and Family Services has received $53.7 million in federal funds since 2009 under the unaccompanied Alien Children's Program, designed to take care of children apprehended by federal law enforcement agencies until they can resolve legal issues, be united with their family, or they're forced to leave the country. Morrison's largest shelter is based in the old YWCA building on Southwest 10th Avenue in downtown Portland. Unaccompanied kids are also held in group homes. Morrison wouldn't answer our questions, including how many kids are inside and how are they treated. In a statement, a spokesperson wrote, Morrison is proud of the many programs that we operate to serve the children in our community. Morrison declined to provide us access to see what's going on inside the shelters. Earlier this month, Oregon Senator Jeff Merkley brought these secretive shelters into the national spotlight after posting a video on Facebook showing the senator being turned away from one of the largest shelters in Brownsville, Texas. Many shelters around the country report they're at or near capacity after the administration's zero tolerance policy where anyone caught crossing the border illegally will be arrested. The number of unaccompanied minors now in custody has increased significantly, explained Border Control, leading to greater demand for these detention centers located in 17 states, including Oregon. Now we've had numerous phone conversations with Morrison, hoping they'll provide transparency about their programs and their shelters. They repeatedly declined to comment. The feds didn't even respond. Federal records indicate Morrison is currently due to receive $14 million in federal funds. That's taxpayer money through the year 2020 under the unaccompanied Alien Children's Program. Back to you.